Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to unlock the 96 hertz refresh rate in your Samsung Galaxy S20 smartphone. And of course, that could be anyone. It could be the S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra. So real quick, let me go to my settings. I'm gonna go to display. And then when you go, when you go into the motion smoothness, you see you have two options. You have 120 hertz and you've got 60 hertz. Now 60 hertz doesn't look very good once you get used to 120 hertz, but 120 hertz also eats a lot of battery life. So the sweet spot, which is gonna be 96 hertz, is gonna give you better battery and also a smooth experience. So let's dive in and get started. So the very first thing you wanna do before you even continue is you wanna go back over here to your display and you wanna make sure that the screen resolution is set to full high definition plus and not WQHD plus, all right? So once we're done with that, we're gonna go right back to the home and then I want you guys on your smartphone to launch your browser, okay? And then go to the website post for which I'll drop a link down below. That's my website, it's gonna be right here. And here it is, okay? So scroll down to, till you say, see instructions and under instructions, because you're watching this video, you can skip them and go straight into the actual website where you're gonna be downloading a little file. So that is the XDA developers website. Once you're over here, just scroll down a little bit gives you details on who gets the credit and stuff like that. But once you're done, tap on releases and simply click on download. Now, when you click on download, it's gonna ask you to log into the XDA website. If you have an account, you're good to go. If you don't have an account, just create a quick account. So tap on download, it's, it's gonna ask you to log in. And if you're already logged in, it's going to start downloading the file. That's the file at the bottom. Once you see this, tap on okay, all right? Now, once you're downloaded, it's gonna say, again, at the bottom, it's gonna say open, you tap on it. If you can't find it here, after downloading, you wanna go home, you wanna go into my files, all right, my files, and it is gonna be in your downloads folder. As you can see, this one is right over here. But most likely, you'll see it right on the website, just like this. You click open, all right, and then what you have to do is because this is an unknown source, you have to enable the installation of unknown apps from this source. Tap on settings, all right, click allow from this source, and then go back. Once you do that, it's gonna ask you, S20 refresh rate control, do you wanna install this application? You're gonna tap on install, all right? It's just a couple seconds here. Once it is installed, you click on open, all right? And you might get some little messages here. Just tap OK for now and tap on set 96 hertz refresh rate. It's going to say apply. All right, so right now the 96 hertz has been applied. Of course, you can tap on this one, apply that as well. Now, how do you check what rate you're running at? All you want to do is you want to grab the application that is known as screen info. That application will give you your current refresh rate. Right now, I've got 90 hertz. It's still nice and smooth, 96 hertz I mean, still nice, nice and smooth, and I'm saving some battery, all right? So again, go to shopping, go to Play Store, and just type in screen info, screen info. You tap on this one, download that application, all right? And that's gonna show you your current refresh rate. So 96 hertz, now if I were to go back into that application, and if I say set 120, and if I go back to my screen info app, now let me just relaunch it, so let's relaunch it. You, now it's gonna say 120 refresh rate. All right, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.